Hi darlings, welcome to a new What's New in my wardrobe video. I cannot believe that I'm saying that it is my June What's New in my wardrobe. This year is flying by and I, I cannot keep up, it's madness. I feel like it was literally yesterday that it was Christmas, but here we are, the first official summer month. And so the items that I'll be sharing with you today are new in from the last four to six weeks into my wardrobe. There's been quite a lot of new fashion content here and you've been seeing new things in the form of haul videos, review videos, you've been seeing me unboxing some things in vlogs and I love these videos as a way of really condensing and sharing with you my favourites and what I've been getting the most wear out of and maybe any things you've not seen me on camera opening so it's a good way of sharing with you all that's new in my wardrobe. Now I have to say this morning I've been packing a suitcase and a few things are in the suitcase so if you're thinking Josie didn't mention that it could be that I'm taking it away with me so apologies about that I will try to highlight things as I remember them but anyway let's get started as always everything that I mention and that I'm wearing etc will be linked in the description box down below so if you'd like to see anything new at all then just open up the description box and everything will be laid out there for you so kicking off as always with what I'm wearing Today this beautiful dress is from a brand called Bash Paris and I first went into one of their stores in Bordeaux when I went to France with Cordely a couple of weeks ago and actually we ran into the store as a way of getting away from the rain because it was tragically pouring with rain on our afternoon in Bordeaux so mum and I actually went into the store and I saw so many beautiful things and this for me is an example of how the secret works because I was thinking oh my gosh this is a really lovely store I wonder if they've got any in the UK and then when I checked my phone, honestly, 45 minutes later, I had an email from the PR for Bash Paris inviting me to visit one of the UK stores and choose some outfits. Oh my goodness, like that is, that's how the secret works. The thoughts that you put out into the universe are what come back to you and it happens for me time after time after time. So when I was in the Bash store in Beak Street, they've got a beautiful store nearly, really close to Regent Street, Carnaby Street in London, I chose this dress. This was what I beelined for first. It's a beautiful silky material, gorgeous sateen finish in this stunning light, almost ivory cream shade, which I just love. I've been wearing it today for a day of meetings and it's so comfortable. I've had, I actually have a confession, I had three breakfast meetings today. I had two avocado on toasts and a smoothie bowl as well. So I've been a real piggy today and then I had risotto for lunch. So the elasticated waistband on this has been very, very practical. One thing I wasn't sure about is the fact that it's got like a little hole here. It's got a... Um, side area that's quite revealing but it just gives it a little bit more of an edge to it otherwise it's a very very classic dress and then my shoes are old I'm just wearing my old Valentinos but then my jewelry I have to highlight as well today I went to the breakfast launch of my friend and fellow youtuber influencer Amelia Liana she collaborated with Skinny Dip for this beautiful jewelry collection and we were very kindly gifted a few pieces at the breakfast she chose some pieces that we that she knew we would love and she very kindly chose for me these gorgeous huge pearl hoop earrings with a little sunflower at the top. The sunflower is also on the necklace. I will show a little close-up and I thought it looked so nice against the sateen of the dress. And there's also a little sunflower hair clip too. I've had to scrape my hair back because I had a workout this morning and my hair is all over the place. But the jewellery collection is absolutely stunning. I believe it's 12 karat gold and beautiful quality. The earrings are not too heavy. I'm so sensitive in the ear area. Anything too heavy I just can't bear to wear for long. But I've been wearing these for the past six hours. Still really comfortable. Um, and everything else that I'm wearing it you guys have seen before. So let's move on to... Ah, okay, so this beautiful skirt you may have spotted if you watched my vlog where I was in France with Cordely. I wore this with a white top for one of our dinners. It actually arrived after I'd filmed my Reese haul, I did another order. But I wanted to highlight it in this video because this skirt I'm going to be wearing pretty much exclusively for the rest of the summer. I love it so much. It is me in a skirt. It's so elegant, beautiful, timeless design, gorgeous pink shade. It comes to uh, waist heights, so it's really flattering, and then a beautiful midi length, which is so beautiful and feminine. I love the fabric, really beautiful lightweight fabric. You've got some polka dot details, you've got some floral pattern in there as well. It's just absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to even wear this with a jumper when it gets a little bit cooler. But in the summer months, I'll probably be wearing this with a beautiful strappy satin or silk camisole. It's just a really lovely feminine, girly, 
very me item to add to my wardrobe. Sticking with the pink theme, the next new thing in my wardrobe is this beautiful new bag from Aspinall. This is their Madison bag and I went to a Mother's Day event in their store and beelined for this bag. It was so striking, so me, and it's just the most practical bag in the whole world. It is big enough for my laptops, plural. I can fit both of my work laptops in here if I need to. I can fit everything that I need for a day at work. It is such a great work bag. You've got these two zippy pockets at the top. It can um, kind of be made into a big tote bag or closed into a slightly more streamlined bag with these little handles. You've got so many practical pockets on the inside. It's got an envelope pocket, it's got a zippy pocket, and of course it does come with an over shoulder strap as well, or you can just wear it as a little um, over the shoulder bag. It's this beautiful pink, I think they call it their peony pink Safiano leather. So really versatile leather. It's not gonna scratch or mark and it's wipe clean. So a very resistant material. So great if you do wanna use it as an everyday bag. I was really kindly gifted this from Aspinall, which I'm so grateful for. And I've been taking this out on days for meetings and things like that. And the color, the style is just so classic and timeless. It works so well with my wardrobe, so I'm very, Pleased to have this beautiful new Aspinall bag in my collection. This is the Madison bag. I'm just gonna kind of hop and skiff around as I find things and pick them up to show you. The next thing to share with you is a pair of sandals from Topshop. Now these are a major style that we're seeing all over the high street and from designers alike at the moment. This really open white square toe sandal. It is a trend and a half this summer. Everyone on my Instagram feed is wearing them. I didn't want to invest a huge amount. I think it's the row and like Saint Laurent that have these in the designer version. These I think were $39.99. I have to say they don't stay on your feet that well. They are a little tricky to walk in so if you're walking a lot it's a no but if you just want to, um, I don't know, if you're going to a wedding and you're going to be seated more often than you're standing then they're great. It's something to do with the fact that the straps are just quite asymmetric let's say they just don't tend to hold your foot in very well which is a shame because they look really cute very instagrammable i will also be packing these on our trip to kefalonia because i think they're great for when you're traveling um but yeah 39.99 so a great way of getting this sandal trend into your wardrobe for summer this next item i don't know if it's kind of cheating or allowed to be included in what's new in my wardrobe but a lot of you will have seen this on my instagram and will probably uh, be very interested in what i have to say about this so it's very heavy at the moment because it's totally full of all the stuff I've been traipsing around with me all day. So much so I'm actually going to hold it down here and put it on my arm here. Let's put it on my arm. So this is the Dior book tote. This bag retails, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, for around, wait for it, oh my god, get, okay, guess to start with. How much do you guys think this bag costs? Yes, it's Christian Dior, but it's a fabric bag. It's not lined and there are no leather inserts, there's no details on this, nearly 2,000 pounds. Oh my goodness, like absolutely bonkers. I am renting this bag, it is not mine to keep, it is a much more sustainable and economical way of shopping. I was contacted by a company called the Catwalk Club, I believe they're not officially launched yet. Um, when they are, I will let you guys know, but I think you can still message them if you're interested in renting any of their bags. They have such a stunning collection and we've got a few trips coming up at the moment and I thought this would be amazing for traveling it's really going to elevate my looks it's gonna be a great way of trying this bag and this trend before or instead of investing and to be honest I've loved having it and I think it is fabulous and so useful so practical but there is no way I will be spending two thousand pounds on this bag but it has been amazing to have it for the past few weeks and for the next couple of weeks so renting your luxury handbags that is definitely something you're going to be hearing me talking about a lot more I think it is such an amazing idea and it gives the bag more life I mean I've got friends that have got this bag and it just sits in their wardrobe most of the time whereas if you can have it for a month and then someone else can use it I think it is a much better way of this bag getting the use that it deserves. I'm going to have to put it down, it's so heavy. But yeah, I've been featuring that bag on my Instagram lately and I've had so many questions, so many people I think have thought that I've bought the bag. No, renting it and highly recommend that uh, service and that way of adding designer bags to your wardrobe. Super random order, I'm sorry, but the next thing that I want to shout out is my new gym hoodie. So I am a huge lover of Sweaty Betty and I wear their gym clothes pretty much exclusively. I have the odd Nike and Lululemon thing, but 99.9% .9 of my workout wear is Sweaty Betty. This hoodie is kind of like 
not gonna go with my dress. Um, a mix between, I would say, like a neoprene material and a jersey material. I love the light gray. It's so nice for when I drive to workout classes. Some of the workout classes are like a 20 minute drive from where we live. Um, or if I'm walking to the gym for an early morning PT session because the temperature's in the UK at the moment still not super hot. So it's just really, really nice. And it looks just so, there's something so sleek about this. It just looks really stylish. I don't want to take this off after I've done my warm up because I feel so good in this. It's got little zippy pockets. It's got um, the little laces here. It's got a hood, which let's be honest, I don't normally use. The only thing I do find is that I can get a little bit of makeup on the top of the zip there because I do put CC cream on or BB cream when I'm at the gym. I had some questions about this in my Instagram stories and so many people compliment me when I'm wearing it, whether it's at the gym or, you know, when I'm just walking around. So I thought I'd give that a little, a little shout out as well. Something that I absolutely loved wearing on our trip to France with Cordley is this stunning skirt not from Zimmerman, I almost said Zimmerman then because it really reminds me of a Zimmerman skirt. This skirt is from Topshop, it is a brodery, kind of brodery anglaise skirt. It's got a zigzag hem and then you've got all this detail, you've got like or well, brodery anglaise at the bottom and then it's this beautiful linen effect, I think it's cotton but it looks like a linen material for the main body of the skirt. It is high waisted, I wore it with a button down silk top which is also new in my wardrobe this month um, but currently in the wash or in the pile to be ironed but I think this looks so high end if you want to get that Chloe kind of boho vibe for your summer outfits but you don't want to spend a ton of money then this is a fabulous option I hope it's still in stock because I'm sure you guys will absolutely love this and I don't feel like I gave it enough of a highlight during my France vlogs but I'm taking this again with me to Catalonia next week and I just think it is stunning. Something else that I got from the Bash store is this beautiful dress it's this gorgeous kind of ox bloody red wine kind of shade very bohemian really loose airy fairy dress it's a really nice midi length i'm actually going to wear this with a chunky white jumper to travel in tomorrow because when we get to Kefalonia, i can just whip the jumper off and it'll be a really nice lightweight dress to wear again it's got an elasticated section on on the bodice so it's really comfortable a low v-neck so it'll actually look really nice with my um new sunflower necklace it'll frame that really beautifully the fabric is just so nice and light that even in warm temperatures it's going to be a pleasure to wear and a really lovely elegant length which I think is just perfect for evenings on sunny holidays or on summer days if you can wear something a little bit more casual to work I would say it is an appropriate work ride dress as well a very different color for me I thought it was a little bit unusual to my usual um, pastel color scheme but something that I'm very much looking forward to experimenting with this next one is a dress that I've had in my wardrobe for about three or four weeks now and again I don't feel like I really have highlighted it on my YouTube but if you've been watching my vlogs you probably would have seen me wearing this a lot because I have been living in this dress recently it is just one of those things that always seems to be appropriate whether I'm nipping out for lunch or I've got a day of meetings or you've got friends coming over for a barbecue or I am in France and I'm having a spa day and then I want to pop something on for lunch this has been the dress that I have been going for it's from Topshop I think it was $39.99 really good price and it looks so elegant it is a beautiful linen material which does mean it creases a little bit but I to be honest I've been finding that they fall out really quickly as well so just hang it up when you arrive somewhere or pop it in your wardrobe and the creases are do fall out it's a crossover design and then you've got this bow around the waist to really accentuate that feminine figure it's got kind of like a Pope collar. It's a little bit, um, reminds me a little bit of like a Vickers outfit with a collar style. And then you've got these three quarter sleeves, a little bit voluminous but not too OTT. Beautiful duck egg blue with this pink floral pattern on there. Midi length and then it has got a bit of a fan down at the bottom, a bit of a frill at the bottom there. So really lovely elegant design, perfect for this time of year. I find dresses like this that work for so many different occasions, really versatile, hard, work, hard working pieces in your wardrobe. And you always just look so elegant and put together in a dress like this. I have been styling this with my little Topshop basket bag, which has been a dream combination. This has been a go to outfit for so many different occasions recently. The bag unfortunately has actually kind of broken here. The strap is coming loose, but I think I paid 
maybe 29 or 39.99 for the bag and I'm getting so much use out of it. It is a fantastic dupe for the Cult Gaia bags but a fraction of the price and again I'll be taking this to Kefalonia with me because it's so nice for holiday outfits. It's just the neutral wicker rattan effect just goes with everything. Another random one. Um, this is a new bra that I got from Intimissimi. I have to say I love their style of bras where it has the, it's not padded but it's got like a, a cup here um, and then it's got this lace triangles it's almost like a little bit of a crop top the lace just you know if you're wearing a, a low v-neck you're going to be able to see the lace which I actually really like and then it's low underneath the bra area as well it's got like a lace bit underneath which I think is so beautiful paired with high-waisted briefs it's just such like an old-school Hollywood glamorous look I love the white and nude combination I've also got this bra in pink and in pale blue although the pale blue I have to say I wouldn't recommend because it actually looks like a white bra that's gone a bit funny color in the wash Charlie was like oh that's really old and I was like no it's actually brand new <laughs> which is a shame um but yeah I got it in white and I think it's absolutely gorgeous I, I feel really supported and if I'm wearing anything she then this looks absolutely beautiful if you can see it underneath like any of your sheer blouses even a silk blouse that maybe you know you want to wear it off shoulder something like that having a really lovely elegant bra like this is fabulous so this is from Intimus Me I will leave it linked down below gorgeous new dress here that I got from Tory Burch. I ordered this on Ness Porter to wear to the Chelsea Flower Show and I absolutely loved wearing it there I couldn't help but feel like this would be a really good maternity dress I've been saying this about a lot of things recently. It's not because I'm pregnant, it's because one of my best friends is. She's nine months pregnant actually and I'm just very conscious of what she's shopping for and the things that she's telling me about her uh, problems and solutions for dressing when you're heavily pregnant. So I thought because this has got such an elasticated section at the top, it's obviously this smocking detail, it'd be really comfortable if your boobs are growing and also it's not going to be tight, it's not got a like firm section down here and then of course lovely voluminous skirt which would be comfortable whether you're pregnant or whether you're eating a lot or whether you just want to be super comfy in your dress. I love smocking. I thought this fabric was absolutely gorgeous. It's got like a poppy print on there. The colours are just beautiful and I thought even going into autumn these colours would be stunning but for a summer dress for a wedding guest perhaps, summer garden parties, things like that, this is the kind of dress that I will be wearing to a lot of different occasions over the summer. When I am travelling and at this time of year if we are out and about during a spring summer afternoon I often find that I just want something to wrap around my shoulders but not a heavy coat so a suede jacket for me is the perfect solution to those kinds of um, wardrobe problems. So this is a beautiful light sandy beige colour, I've still got this zipped on up, um, suede jacket or actually faux suede because this was only £60. It is so soft and it's just the most practical jacket in the whole world. It's so comfortable, you feel instantly so much warmer and yet it's not long, it's not bulky so it's perfect for summer evenings. To be honest I don't think I would ever do this jacket up unless maybe I was absolutely freezing but it does still look good when done up maybe if you're really cold you could like do it up and have it as more of like a military style jacket it's got the detail on the little poppers it's got a silver zip although it's kind of like a very light gold actually rather than a silver so it goes with all my different jewelry types faux suede as I said to keep the price down but then it's got almost like a biker detail with the stripes here on the top of the shoulders and then you've got more of a like crisscross detail on the sleeves and this neutral tone I find is perfect it just goes with all of my summer outfits whether it's my dress with the poppies on like even that that colour combination is really beautiful, a white dress, a pink dress, this sandy tone it just goes with everything so that has been working for me on so many different occasions whether it's travelling or here in the UK so highly recommend a light sandy suede or faux suede um, jacket for this time of year. And then I'm pretty sure the rest of these pieces you guys will be familiar with because I have spoken about them a lot in recent hauls or like chatty vlog styling videos but just to quickly run through my favourite things that you guys have definitely heard me talk about before. My Zimmerman dupe dresses, oh my goodness, I get so many questions every time I wear them, so many compliments and people cannot believe me when I say that they are much more affordable than Zimmerman. This one I have been, oh my god, I mean even just holding it up on camera I swoon as to how beautiful it is. The fabric, the colours, the unusual design, absolutely stunning. I love the ruffles, I love the, oh, I just, this dress is spectacular. I love it so much. I'm 
still tempted by the Zimmerman one and yet this one is so similar there's absolutely no point. I did mention that I have some things also packed in my suitcase for Catalonia. I'll pop the try-on clip of my other favourite Zimmerman dupe on the screen now, I think you guys will probably have guessed if you watched that video, which is the other one that I'm obsessed with. I, I love them all, I've kept nearly all of them, not the white one. Um, but yeah, this one and the one in my suitcase, which you'll be seeing on the screen now, I have been wearing it to death and oh, I just absolutely love them. I just need more, a few more events in my calendar to wear them to because I'm finding I've got so many nice dresses, I just need to be wearing them all the time. This is why I always go out to meetings and events and I'm always overdressed because I have so many nice clothes that I want to wear and not enough garden parties and christenings and weddings to wear them to so always overdressed but never complaining so yeah these two Zimmerman-esque dresses I am smitten with. Actually I don't think I've showed you this one before but a beautiful um, very perfect for summer holidays white dress bardo dress from Topshop. I love the flamenco style ruffle at the top here. You've got this rattan style belt, just a very simple belt to cinch you in at the waist. Looks really good with the straw bag and then you've got and then you've got this beautiful effect down at the skirt. So beautiful when you walk and when you move. It has the most beautiful swoosh to it and I find this neutral white linen style material. Simple jewellery, maybe like a shell necklace is such a classic summer look. It's not a look that's going to go out of fashion anytime soon and yet the high street absolutely nails it especially with this top shot dress, this with the white sandals as well, or even just flip-flops, such a really nice summer casual but beautiful outfit to wear. I've been wearing a lot of H&M this month as well, again to highlight a few of my favourites, this dress that I did go and swap after my haul because I got a size 4 when I really needed a size 6, but I'm really glad that we went and um, swapped this for the right size because now it is absolutely perfect. This I like just as much as a skirt as I do as a dress, so I have been wearing it as a dress on warm days but they have been a bit few and far between, so I've actually been wearing a chunky white jumper over the top of this because I love the skirt so much. These pleats with this ruffle detail down at the bottom give it the most stunning movement, it really swooshes around, it's like you've got clouds floating around your angles and the pattern, this kind of wallpaper porcelain pattern is so on trend right now and I think this was $34.99 so this was an amazing value piece from H&M. And another thing that I've been wearing tons from my H&M haul is the striped jumpsuit, especially on our trip to France. I wore this loads when we were doing like beach days, things like that. It's got the little pockets, it's got the bow around the waist, it's got the buttons so that you can adjust the straps slightly to make them longer or shorter. V-neck, again looks fabulous with a statement little shell necklace and just the material, the design, it's very faithful, it's very free people, you know, those kind of Instagram brands, but yet it was 34 or 39 from H&M, so a really lovely classic piece for a summer wardrobe. My white dress from H&M has been a huge, huge favourite this month. It is, again, in the ironing pile. You guys may remember, again, from my France vlog um, and from vlogs here in the UK, the one with the almost Victorian style ruffle on the bodice. That, I love wearing it. It is so comfortable. I feel like I'm wearing a really good quality dress. It's made so beautifully, again, under £40. I have received so many compliments when wearing that, and people are shocked when I say it's from H&M. I was wearing it a lot when I was traveling with the Christian Dior uh, book tote so it looked so expensive and yet it wasn't so that has been another huge favorite this month H&M smashing it and can we just take a moment for the Jean-Baptiste Diwali collaboration. I am going to be first in line in November when that properly comes out. Totally missed the pre-launch, don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, stunning. So up my street, cannot wait to hopefully pick up some things from that collaboration. But the last thing I wanted to share with you is a dress that I was very kindly gifted from Ted Baker. Such a beautiful wedding guest dress. I shot this at um, Chiswick House yesterday, sadly it was raining so hopefully the pictures won't look too miserable when they come out. But a beautiful outfit for for summer parties, for Royal Ascot if you're going, or um, a day at the races, a day at Wimbledon, but for me this just screams summer wedding dress. Beautiful pleated material, floral pattern on there, it's got a gorgeous design on it. It's almost like a trapeze silhouette, but then you do have a waist belt, so you can cinch it in and create a really lovely feminine silhouette if you so desire. But with the pleats, it just has the most beautiful float, drape and hang to it, so a gorgeous piece to wear for a summer wedding or special event. Maybe with the Prada basket bag, that's how I styled it yesterday and I absolutely love that. So this is another gorgeous new piece in my wardrobe. There is more, I'm looking at things from my Reese haul, because obviously I just 
love all of my Reese things, didn't send them back. Um, a couple of other Topshop pieces, but I don't want to make these videos really repetitive, so I'm gonna finish with the Ted Baker dress. I'm exhausted, I feel like there's been so many new things, but I hope you guys understand that this is not normal levels of consumption, and don't feel like you need to keep up in any way. If I was not doing this as a job, I wouldn't even have, I, I would say I wouldn't even have a tenth of these items coming into my wardrobe new each month. I would still be shopping from the same retailers, I would still be lusting over these pieces, and of course I would genuinely spend my own money on every single thing that I'm recommending to you, whether it was gifted, part of a campaign, but I buy a lot more than a normal person because it is my job to literally style and share these things with you. So I hope you guys understand that, I know you do, you guys are so switched on, but anyway, enough rumbling that is all from me thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new don't forget to turn the notification bell on if you're not signed up to my newsletter yet please do so there is going to be a sale edit in this week's newsletter because the summer sales are starting so you don't want to miss any of the best sales and best bargains and make sure you sign up for the newsletter i think that's it okay that's all from me thanks for watching see you in the next one